You think that actually happened? The Bible does not say whale, it says a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it, uh, it says a great fish. Mm -hmm. But they're pretty much the same. Uh, do you think that... It, 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 uh, they're pretty much the same thing. Ooh. I'm lost line. What's your feeling about that? What, what's, your, what's your feeling about that? Well, I believe in a God who can make a whale and who can make a man and make both do as he pleases. Amen. I want those amens in the record. Now, I seem to recollect the story about Joshua making the sun stand still in the sky. Now, you as an expert would tell me that that's just as true as the Jonah business, right? Ooh. Well, that's quite a trick. Do you think Houdini could do it? Oh, oh. I do not question or scoff at the miracles of the Bible, as do ye of little faith. <laughs> that's right, yeah. Have you ever pondered just what would naturally happen to the earth if the sun did stand still? <laughs> I'll let you testify to that if I ever get you on the stand. <laughs> <laughs> if they say that the sun stood still, that means that they had the notion that the sun moves around the earth. Is that the way of things? Or don't you believe that the earth moves around the sun? Well, I have faith in the Bible. You don't have much faith in the solar system. The sun stopped. Good. Now, if what you say actually happened, mm -hmm. if, the, if Joshua halted the sun in the sky, that means that the earth stopped rotating on its axis. Continents toppled over one another. Mountains were wrenched off into space. And the Earth, arrested in its orbit, shriveled to a cinder and crashed into the sun. How did they miss that little tidbit of news? Well, they missed it because it didn't happen. But it must have happened! According to natural law? Or don't you believe in natural law, Colonel Brady? Would you ban Copernicus from the classroom along with Charles Darwin? Pass a law! Ruling out all testimony of scientific development from, from Joshua. Revelations, period. Natural law was born in the mind of the Heavenly Father. He can change it, cancel it, use it as he pleases. Yeah. It constantly Amen. amazes me that you apostles of science, for all your supposed wisdom, fail to grasp this simple fact. Huh. Uh-huh. Now listen to this. Genesis 4, 16. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod in the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife. Where the hell did she come from? <laughs> Who? Mrs. Cain, Cain's wife. In the beginning, if there was uh, Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel, where did this extra woman come from? Ever figure it out? No, sir, I will leave the agnostics to hunt for her. <laughs> <laughs> Never bothered you. Never bothered me. Never bothered to find out. Nope. You figured somebody pulled off another creation over in the next county. The Bible satisfies me. It is enough. Amen. Amen. I'm afraid to imagine the state of learning in the world if we all had your driving curiosity, mm -hmm. Mr. Brady. Now the Bible goes into a lot of begats. As a friend, begat uh, Selah, Selah begat uh, Eber, and so on, so on, so on. Are these pretty important folks? These are the uh, generations of men and women of the Bible. Uh, how did they go about all that begat? What do you mean? Well, I mean, did folks in those days get, be get begat uh, like they do today? The process is about the same. Uh, I don't think your scientists have improved it any. <laughs> <laughs> so, in other words, all these important people who got themselves conceived and brought forth through the natural biological function called sex. Oh, <laughs> what do you think of sex, Carly? In, uh, in what spirit is this question asked? Oh, I'm not asking you uh, what you think about sex as a uh, father or a husband or, or a presidential candidate. <laughs> no, no, no. You're up here as an expert on the Bible. What is the biblical evaluation of sex? 
It is considered our original sin. And all these important people got themselves begat through sinning? All that sinning make them any less holy? Your Honor, where is this leading us? What has this to do with the state versus Bertram Cates? Colonel Drummond, the court must be satisfied that this line of questioning has some bearing on this case. Your Honor, you have ruled out all my other witnesses. You must let me examine the one witness you left me in my own way. Your Honor, I am happy to sit here and endure Mr. Drummond's sneering and his disrespect, for he is pleading the case of the prosecution for his contempt for all that is holy. Objection! I object! I object! On what grounds? Could it be that something is holy to the celebrated agnostic? Oh. Yes! The individual human mind. Hmm. And the power of a child to master the multiplication tables. There's more sanctity than all your shouted amens and hallelujah and hosannas. <laughs> An idea is more of a monument than any cathedral. And the advance of human knowledge is more of a miracle than any stick turned to a snake or parting of the waters. But are we now to halt the march of progress because Mr. Brady frightens us with a fable? Progress has never been a bargain. We've always had to pay for it. Sometimes I think there's a man behind the counter that says, all right, you can have the telephone, but you have to give up uh, privacy and the charm of distance. Madam, you may have the vote at a price. You have to give up the right to retreat behind a powder puff or a petticoat. Thank you. Mister, you can conquer the air, but the birds will lose their wonder, and the clouds, well, they'll smell a gasoline. Darwin moved us to a hilltop from where we could look back at the way from which we came. But for that insight, that, that view, that knowledge, we have to abandon our faith in the pleasant poetry of Genesis. We must never abandon faith. Faith is the important thing. Then Aye, yes. Yes. God give us the power to think. <clears throat> Mr. Brady, why do you deny the one faculty of <coughs> the human faculty that lifts all the, the creep that's man above all the creatures on earth? The power of his brain to reason. What other merit do we have? The elephant is bigger. The horse is, is uh, faster and stronger. The, the butterfly is more beautiful. The mosquito is more, more prolific. Even the simple sponge is more durable. Or, do you, or does a sponge think? I don't know. I'm a man, not a sponge. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you think a sponge thinks? If the Lord wants a sponge to think, then it thinks. Does a man have the same privileges as a sponge? Of course. This man wants to be accorded the same privileges as a sponge. He wishes to think. <laughs>